Sexy. That should be my intro always. Hey, it's Marvelo, and welcome back to my channel. I recently had a request to compare the size of different tunnels at different sizes, and I realized that I haven't really seen a video like that out there. When I was trying to decide on my goal size, I was comparing um, the way people's naked lobes looked, the way different plugs and tunnels looked in different people's ears, and it can just be really hard to make those comparisons. So I'm going to show you my tunnels from 2 gauge, 0 gauge, double zero gauge, 7 sixteenths of an inch, and half an inch, so that maybe I can help you make these decisions for your goal size. That's also why I've made the videos of my naked lobes, because I've just found that not very many people post pictures of their naked lobes and tell you what size they are. And and for me, the way the naked lobe looks is a huge factor in what my goal size will be. While I can't really show you that right now, you can just go look through the videos I've already posted on naked lobes, I can show you tunnels. Right here, I've got my half an inch tunnel with the 7 sixteenths inside of that, double zero gauge in that, zero in that, and then two gauge in the middle. It's just... yeah. Ta-da! I'll show you what they look like individually and put up next to each other because it's kind of hard to tell when they're all inside of each other like this. Okay, I'll start off with the two gauge, and when I first got to this size, I thought it looked really big. I mean, and comparatively, it is quite a bit bigger than the sizes before it, but looking back on it now, it's very small. Can you see that in there? Yeah. It's just tiny. When you're stretching your ears, once you hit a two gauge, every time you size up after that will look considerably larger than any of the stretches before. So going from two gauge to a zero gauge, there is the size difference. And then if I want to compare it here, it's still quite a bit smaller, but it will actually stay in there better. Look at that. And that's the zero gauge. Okay, so here I will try to insert a picture of me wearing the two gauge tunnel and the zero gauge tunnel. I did go to a one gauge between these two sizes and I would recommend that. It may not look like a huge size difference here, but it really is. And going to the one gauge in between is a good idea. Mine just, the one gauge wouldn't give you a good idea of the size because it is a glass plug and not a tunnel. The difference between the zero gauge and the double zero gauge is quite different. This is a very big sizing up. I think that the difference in size is very clear right away. And in comparison to the half an inch that I've got now, the double zero does actually fit in there. It just has a little bit of gapping. I'll try to post a picture here now as well of my zero gauge next to my double zero gauge. I didn't really think 7 sixteenths of an inch would look that much bigger than a double zero gauge, but I find that it is a pretty noticeable size difference. But part of that might just be uh, because I got the jewelry from different places, so they're a little bit different style, but still you can see there is so much, you can see a lot more through that hole. And the 7 sixteenths of an inch tunnel fits right inside of the half inch one perfectly. And I was just at uh, 7 sixteenths of an inch, so if you really want to see what my jewelry looked like there, you can go back and look through some of my videos. And finally, I will show you the 7 sixteenths next to the half inch. It's another one where it can be a little bit hard to tell until you put it inside if it's right in there. Definitely not going the other way. I will try now to hold them all up together for size comparison. It's going to be hard. So there we go. Half an inch, seven sixteenths, double zero gauge, zero gauge, two gauge, all right there. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so you can stay updated for the next time I make a video. If there's anything else with these plugs you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments below and maybe I can post a picture getting them at a better angle if you'd like for my Instagram. I love you guys and I'll see you again next time.